Uh, hi, uh, here we're going to show how to do some matrix operations on a TI-83+. Now, I've already defined some matrices on this calculator, which I can access by the matrix uh, button. And you'll see that I have defined A as a 3 by 3 transition matrix, B as a 3 by 1 vector, and C as a 1 by 3 vector. Now, if we want to see what A looks like, I can select A, press enter, and there it is, a, something that looks like a transition matrix. To check that it actually is a transition matrix, the way to do that is to multiply on the left by a row vector of all ones, which I have actually uh, defined as the 1 by 3 matrix C. So if I enter that, you'll see all ones right there. And so now if I select C, like so, and then select A, so this looks like C times A, the result is going to add up each column of A, and when I press that I see that all the columns add up to one again, so I know that it satisfies the transition matrix condition. Now I've also defined a population vector in B, a 3 by 1, it's a column vector, and if I press enter here, you'll see that the initial population I picked was half in state 1 and half in state 3. And to see what the population after one unit of time, let's say that's a year, I multiply by the transition matrix. So I'll select A times B, and that will be um, the population next year. And we do that, you can see that, for instance, state 2 goes up to 35%, whereas state 3 dropped to 15%. And uh, now if we want to find next year, I can do the same thing. And uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll take the, uh, the previous entry I did and edit. I'll use the arrow keys and I'll plug in uh, a caret 2. And now I have to enter B again, which I'll select. So now I have a squared times b, and I get the percentages change a little bit more. State 2 has gone up to 42% already. Okay, and if I want to see what it's like uh, 20 years from now, I can take the very same thing. I can take um, the previous entry, which I used by the entry button. I can go back by the arrow, press insert, and plug in a zero there. So now it looks like a to the 20th times b, hit enter now, and I have the percentages 20 years from now, which it calculated rather quickly. And this should be close to the steady state vector, which I can check just by taking the 20th power of, of a. So I delete the b and just take the 20th power of the transition matrix. That'll be a 3 by 3 matrix. And if I press enter, then I can look at it and sort of scroll and you'll see that each of the three columns is very nearly equal and so they're all very close approximations of the steady state solution. So that's a little demonstration of some matrix algebra and we'll see you later.